Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to uh, create proportion tables in R, which is what you might do in Excel using the show values as. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to clean up the environment, load up the tidy R for pivoting. Let's read in a little, um, a little data frame um, and write it to um, our working directory. I'll open it here. And it's just a very small uh, table consisting of countries, operating system, and how many installs we have. So if we throw that quickly into a pivot table, we have the, the total numbers. And if we want to do the proportion or the percentages out of the totals, so we can just go to show values as and do a uh, percent of column total. Let's copy that. Or percent of row total. Okay, so here these would be 100% and here this would be 100%. So how do we replicate that? in R. Well, there's no easy way, unfortunately, and this is something that you might need to do uh, more than uh, here and there. And trying to do it, R will also throw some very annoying things at you. So let's, uh, let's see how to, uh, how to tackle them. So here we got the uh, data frame, okay, that I imported from the, from the Excel. And first we'll use the spread uh, function from tidyr to uh, simply pivot it. Okay, so now it looks like this. And now we want to create a prop table, and there's a function for that. Um, it's called um, uh, simply prop table. But the thing to know is that prop table uh, can only accept numeric, uh, numeric vectors or matrices. Uh, so you cannot um, uh, run it on a data frame or uh, any mixed uh, uh, data set. So for example, if I run prop table on the whole thing, oops, sorry, then it's going to give me, it's only def uh, defined on a data frame which uh, all numeric variables. So I actually need to subset df and only take the second and third uh, columns, okay, the Android and iOS, which are numeric columns, and then it's going to work. Okay, so then I'm going to have the um, uh, equivalent of show values as, uh, as percentage of rows. Now note that in order to get it on rows, I put one here, okay, so I passed one to the prop table function. Uh, and the second annoyance that you uh, you get is okay. Let's let's have a look at it. Is that the countries are gone, right? You need to reattach the countries now. So that brings me to the third annoyance. Usually you do that with the C bind, but what C bind does is it coerces everything into the uh, the same basic um, uh, data type and in case there is a factor or, or a character it's going to make it all factors and then you get a table of factors which is not what you want so you need to use um, C bind data frame and then you're okay so those are really the three things that you need to know um, one is that you can only uh, pass the numeric data types into the prop table uh, function the second is that you're going to need to reattach the um, the factors or the character vectors that you had before, and the third is that you have to use C bind data frame to do it, and not just C bind if you want to continue to uh, to work with that. And so now let's just have a quick look at columns. So same same thing. I'm going to call it DF proportion or prop columns, and to uh, the prop table I s I pass the same thing. Okay, so. So once again, um, to the prop table, I pass the uh, these two rows, okay, and it's uh, and I first pass it as a matrix because this is what prop table is expecting to see. And then I give it the uh, parameter two, which will do it 
on columns, the du um, calculate the proportion on columns rather than rows. So let's run that. And then again, I attach the, uh, the country. And let's have a look at what that looks like. So here we are. And if you uh, want to check yourself, and you can do the row sums on the row uh, um, data set and the call sums on the column data sets, and just check that, oops. Yeah, I just messed around with it, so let's just run the whole thing a bit. Just right down here. Okay, so to check yourself, the row sums all uh, equate to 1, or 100%, and then the call sums both equate to 1. So um, that's it. I hope it's useful. And let me know if you have any questions in the columns, in the uh, comment section.